Well, hello, dear crafters! Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Karina and I'm here to teach and inspire you how to make cute products for your daily life and maybe your small business. Today, we have an exciting topic to talk about and it is seamless repeating patterns. Patterns are my favorite design elements since they are so versatile and have a very wide range of applications. You can create visually appealing and unique products such as fabrics, wallpapers, backgrounds, phone cases and something I'm particularly passionate about, stationery. By creating one repeating pattern, I have launched a whole stationery collection, including notebook, notepads, stickers, bookmarks, and gift tags. Besides, you can sell your patterns on platforms like Etsy or Creative Market, you can offer your services to clients who are looking for unique designs, or even license your art to bigger companies. I believe that creating patterns is one of the best ways to earn a passive income from your art. I'm creating my designs in a free web-based uh, design application called Figma. So I'll create a new design file. This is the environment where I'm going to um, create my pattern. I'm then going to simply drag all the files which I'm planning to use for my design into my Figma design file. I can adjust the uh, size of the individual elements using my mouse or the menu on the right, but it doesn't matter that much uh, right now. Once I create my canvas, uh, I'm going to adjust the size as well. Great, so now I have all of my individual elements imported into the file. Please remember they have to be in the PNG format and have a transparent background for this to work. I've also renamed them so that I can kind of locate and distinguish between uh, the characters and now I'm ready to create my canvas where I'm going to place them. So I will proceed to the top left corner and create a frame which is basically the artboard or our canvas, so to say. The dimensions are going to be 3600 by 3600. So it's kind of a tile and will give you great quality for print or for web design. This is going to be 12 by 12 inch at 300 DPI. In order to create a repeated pattern, our edges have to form a seamless connection. It means that if we create the same tile on top, bottom, left or right, it's going to align. Once again, we only have to make sure that our individual elements on the edges of our pattern align. So let us first work on our X or horizontal axis. We will make sure that everything on the left and right side of our pattern aligns. Okay, so I will start to populate my pattern. I will simply drag my individual elements onto my canvas. As you can see, the value of the x-axis is uh, kind of changing whenever I'm moving it to the left or to the right. Okay, so I'm going to place it right here and I will duplicate the element by clicking Command D or Ctrl D. In order to align this element, I will have to add 3600 pixels on the x-axis. This will move the element to the right and the design will become seamless. So the number of pixels I'm going to add equals to the dimensions of your canvas. Uh, so let's assume your canvas is only 1800 uh, pixels, then we're only going to move our element by 1800 pixels. I will do the same thing with my second element. I will resize it a little bit, duplicate by clicking Command D and add 3600 pixels on the X axis. As you can see, the duplicated element moved to the right side and is now aligned. I will position the next element on the y-axis, so vertically, somewhere around here, duplicate it and add 3600 pixels on the y-axis. The element moved down and the edges of our ruler are now aligned. Let me now grab this um, off-white blob and position it on the y-axis. Once again, plus 3600 pixels. This is the last element which I'm going to position on the edges of my design. So I'm going to put it right here, duplicate, and since it's, it's on the x-axis, I'm going to add 3600 pixels. Once our edges are ready, we are free to populate the rest of the pattern by including some of the elements in the middle. So 
once we're happy with the design, let's test whether this pattern is actually seamless. Let's copy our image in PNG format by clicking Command Shift C or right clicking the image and copying it as PNG. And we can Command V to paste the image. Choose image in the right menu and in the drop down choose tile. It's rescaled to 50%. We can even decrease it to see more of it. And by zooming in, you can actually check whether your elements align perfectly. In our case, the pattern works great. I've selected this tape element and moved it a little bit down uh, so that I don't have such a big gap uh, in my pattern. Uh, make sure you always select both elements on both sides of the pattern so that they um, are moved simultaneously. Then I've copied the image as PNG once again and uh, chose the image and tile option, reduced our scale to 25% and as you can see it aligns well. I think it's fine for now. To create more color variations of our pattern we can change the background color by duplicating the file and choosing the fill. Okay, so once I'm happy with my patterns and its color variations, I will export uh, my files as PNG. I'm storing my files in PNG format since uh, sometimes I have to play with the dimensions of the file, so I import it back to Figma as PNG and adjust it to fit my needs. If you enjoy this type of creative content, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you next time!